My name is Simon Ballard. Um, I'm employed by Chichester District Council as a Senior Environmental Protection Officer and my job is around a number of environmental issues but with relevance to the car it's about air quality. We gave the car to three different sets of colleagues really and we gave the car to our community wardens who are out and about in the community so that the community could see us in a greener car. We gave um, the car to our depot staff. They go out and co do contract monitoring for various uh, services that we have in the town so they're driving around in a low emission vehicle and our environmental health service staff of which I'm part of that team uh, they drove to some of their visits in the car. To help promote electric vehicle usage the council's um, teamed up with the county council and um, we've installed the two charging points which are just here and they're available for the public to use you know any time and the the county have a couple of fleet vehicles that are electric and we can book to borrow them so obviously to get people to have a go before they maybe take the plunge and buy their own vehicle. In my role I regularly use a car. The pattern of use uh, on a daily basis that I use the car for would greatly fit in with the electric vehicle. Um, short journeys, um, periods of charging in between. In my daily role I might visit um, local um, sites where there's either air quality stations that we're measuring air quality and most of those are actually not far from the, the main office so an electric vehicle would be ideal because we don't need to travel you know, a huge range of miles to get to the stations to check on them. It's a good looking car first of all, slightly space agey I suppose but doesn't make a massive statement. Um, when you get into the car it makes some interesting, interesting noises when you turn it on but of course, then when you actually turn it on, it's silent. Silence was slightly unerring at first, but uh, it was very relaxing after a while. When you have a colleague next to you, or a family member or whatever, it's very, you can just have a conversation at normal volume. It's, 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 people are very, very sold on that immediately. We could use a certain amount of limited range vehicles within um, litter picking and emptying litter bins within the city of Chichester. We could use them probably to move um, things and people about within the city on the parks department um, where everything is in within a you know, fairly close range. Inevitably, the moment you get in the car, the first thing you introduce people to is, is it tells you the range estimated and it's always it's omnipresent in your mind when you're, when you're sitting driving the car, you keep glancing down at the range estimated range so I think it's, it does change the way you use the energy that the car has it changes the way you drive and it makes you drive more conservatively I think do I think it would change the way I, dri I drive my normal car I think it does because it it just makes it you more aware of how quickly you can use energy by putting your foot on the floor or driving up driving through terrain which is is more challenging for the car the range indicator was perhaps not that easy to understand at first um, because it did seem to vary quite a lot um, but I knew I had uh, the car almost fully charged so I wasn't particularly worried about reaching my destination. Knowing it's got a limited range I was probably looking at it a little bit more than I would normally look at but then I do normally check my petrol gauge so you know it's, it, I think you just get into the, the same frame, frame of mind you know just to keep an eye on it to make sure you're going to get near somewhere to charge up again. I expected it to be a slightly more um, uncomfortable, not so well finished, you know, well upholstered sort of vehicle. You still imagine them to be sort of uh, prototypes, as they say. Before I drove the car, I'd only ever been in a milk float. <laughs> it was uh, very smooth and light. The car felt very manoeuvrable. I found that um, I was quickly up to speed in moving traffic. When I first drove the car it was a little bit different to a manual car because you don't seem to have quite so many controls in front of you and you've got a totally different gear stick. It's just um, more like driving an automatic than driving a manual car. Have you tried all the television remotes just to see it open the door? 